last year on the Nitro Tour, I ended up landing the first ever double backflip on a skateboard. Double backflip. Yeah. Whoa. Had never been done. So. And you worked on that for, for 10 years? Over 10 years. Yeah. So, so when did you know that you could actually pull it off? possibly once the ramps got better <laughs> yeah that's kind of the thing with innovation and everything too it's like can it be done the hardest part honestly was really just slowing down the rotation enough to land because it's easy to get the rotation around but how do you stop yourself from continuing to keep flipping yeah you know skateboard you don't have handlebars you don't have brakes a lot of the bmx guys they'll do a double flip and then they'll tag the brakes so that they don't don't loop out um but skating it was like one of the things that shifted with the ramps was rather than going like 50 feet in distance, we shortened the gap, but made the height and the trajectory higher. So rather than going 50 feet this way, I was going about 25, 30 feet up and about 20 feet in distance. And so that was really, I mean, the mechanics that helped make that trick possible. Yeah. I mean, I, I, when, when you're doing that for the first time, yeah, I mean, it, it, there's got to be some fear in there, right? Like the, the crash could be bad. Oh yeah, absolutely. And I've had every crash imaginable <laughs> on that thing. And um, I mean, yeah, the determination just to continue persevering. I mean, Tony Hawk with his 900 took him over 10 years to do that as well. And it's just one of those things, like it's cool to experience that as much as I would have loved to have gotten it a lot sooner. It's like, it makes you appreciate and what builds within allowing the process of time right? It, it just builds some sort of resilience that like, I think is attractive. And what we need is like, is it possible? There's again, one way to find out. Yeah. Are you willing to go through it? Are you willing to endure it? Especially, I think our culture is so, I want it all. I want it now. I call mm -hmm. it the microwave mentality, mm -hmm. but to have the discipline to keep going, land on your face, land on your back, get wrecked for 10 years yeah. before you ever land it. It's, it's wild, but I think it makes you appreciate it that much more. Yeah. Well, you know, with culture, the way it is, as you're saying, the, the microwave uh, mentality, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, you know, what made you different? What made you say, Hey, that's not going to be the road that I go on. I think just not wanting to give up. I, I truly believe that all things are possible. Like if you can see something in your mind, if you have a vision for it, you can achieve it in your life, mm -hmm. but it takes time. And no one knows how long or short that's going to be. And you've got to be willing to, because I believe, because I trust this is possible, I'm going to work as if it's so. I'm going to show up as if it's so. Mm -hmm. And I think that's really what kind of separated me. Same thing, like growing up as a, a kid in a small town in Knoxville, you know, with that big dream, I didn't want to just show up at the skate park just like all my friends did. I wanted to show up with, I believe I can be a pro skater one day. I'm going to show up with passion. I'm going to show up with purpose. I'm going to, while you guys are going, you know, to get a drink or go chill and we're at the skate park for five hours, I'm going to skate for all those five hours. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it, it pays off over time. 